Hello guys, today it's a quick tutorial for using or for creating and using for loop or for each loop both with delay so it can be used for simple wave generators or for typewriter features. Well, my kid got cold, so that's the reason why I also delay my tutorial about the landscape communication with the weather system. But soon I'll actually on the finish line, so I guess few days and I'll publish another tutorial. So, let's get started. First, I'd like to note that you can find those tutorials also on the YouTube. I want to show you the way and some neat tricks that some people won't notice. First of all, we need to create the macro library. Here you can see I have two different micro libraries. The one is called BPML, which goes for Blueprint Micro, li mi macro Library. The second one BPV or W Micro Library. This one goes for the actor parent class. This one for UMG widget parent class. The reason why I did this is pretty much simple. You can't use the default micro library inside widgets. So for achieving the same result of this macro feature, you need to create two different micro libraries. Once you create one, you'll see this graph. Basically, it will be empty. Here you can see I have implemented for loop with delay and for widget for each loop with delay. Actually, if we talk about for loop or for each loop, these features are also the default macros that Unreal Engine has. You just need to add in somewhere or find the standard macros blueprint, open it and just duplicate this body. This one is for loop, this one is for, for each loop. You can't copy and paste the inputs and outputs of macro. So you will need to do this for each element, for each macro function in both libraries. I'll also add this sample project so you can download it and just copy paste the U assets inside your project if you want. Basically, let me show you what you should to plug in once you copied the body. If you talk about for loop, here you can see exact pin goes to the assign, first index goes also to this assign, last index to this bool operator, delay goes here, and this delay is right after the second assign block. Another plug here, and from false we go to complete, and from sequence then zero goes to loop body. Here are the default inputs and outputs. 
Now, let me show you for each loop with delay. So, wildcat is the just basic type you can find here. And to change the type of a container, you just need to click and select from singular to array. So, the workflow exec here, array to the lens, array to the getter. Next, delay also after the assign here. On complete goes to this bool operator. Then sequence goes to the loop body and false condition from our bool operator goes to complete. And that's actually all. To create the macro library, you just need to press right mouse button, select Blueprint category, and then select Blueprint macro library. Here, by default, all classes won't be expanded, so you need to do this. To create the macro library which will work with Blueprints, you need to select Actor. To work with UMG, you need to search for widget, this one. Now, as you can, as you saw from the demo of this tutorial, I'll just make quick breakout, breakout, I'm sorry guys, breakdown of this feature. So, for the typewriter text, I have debug widget here. Here I use for each loop with delay. I have the incoming text variable. It's also exposed on spawn, so the text I receive is from the another blueprint. Here you can see delay. And this type is just we are iterating through the array of our chair of our chair. Characters of our letters and append it to our buffer. Then we just print our buffer. So that's it. That's how the typewriter feature works. As for the single as for the wave feature, you don't need to use delays. It's very bad practice. Here I show you just for the case of the flow of my demo. So I create the first widget, add it to the viewports. Here you can see exposed text variable. Then some logic to have delays and for loop with delay where I spawn first type of my enemy three of them with the interval of one second. Once I've done it, I use delay and destroy all actors to simulate sorts of character killing the enemies. Then I spawn another same type widget with another text and the flow goes the same way. Once the second wave is done, I spawn another um, widget which says that the game is over. For the actor, here I use the debug actor I created. And also you can see that here I have the type exposed. So, when I spawn my enemies, for each wave, I use different types. And my enemy 
defines according to the type what color and which static mesh to use here so that's it i hope you found this tutorial useful and see you soon